lab, we're going to figure out another way to measure something big. Ooh. <laughs> Can we measure the whole classroom? Sure. But if Sid's ruler is too small and we don't have a tape measure, what can we use to measure the classroom? Hmm. Oh, hey, hey, I'm big. Why don't you use me? <laughs> <laughs> See, okay, um, look, one Gerald, okay, plus, um, one more Gerald. Oh, I almost hit my head. <laughs> Equals um, two Geralds. And I bet that this whole classroom is, is ten Geralds long. <laughs> That's a really good estimate, Gerald, and a really good way to measure the classroom. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yes. Ooh. Sure, you know, it's actually okay to use something besides a ruler to measure. You mean we could use a shoe to measure the classroom? Absolutely. And when you use something besides a ruler, it's called non-standard measurement. Yes, <gasps> non-standard measurement. <laughs> Very good, Gerald. I think my work here is done. <laughs> <laughs> I was teacher. So, Susie, hmm? is it okay to measure the classroom with five shoes, seven flowers, and a bunch of Gerald's? Well, there are some rules when you use non-standard measurement. You can only measure with one kind of item at a time. Hmm. Oh, so you could measure with shoes, or flowers, or Gerald. You got it. As long as they're the same size. Hmm. Oh, just like all the inches are the same size on a ruler. Exactly, Gabriella. <laughs> and there's one more rule. You can't leave any spaces between whatever you're using to measure, just like these blocks. Oh, oh but, hey, I can be just like those wooden blocks. <laughs> See, uh, measure with me, measure with me, okay? <laughs> I'll be, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's do it. Yay! <laughs> You're a scientist, you can try this too. <laughs> okay, let's measure the classroom using non-standard measurement. That means instead of a ruler, we'll use something else. In this case, we can use our body. Lie down on the ground and we'll mark your spot with a block so you know where to lie down again. This way, we won't leave any spaces. Now go for it and measure the whole classroom. Keep lying down and marking your spot until you reach the other side of the room. You're almost there, keep measuring. Hey, it looks like there's room for another half a body. Let's count our bodies and measure the room. One, two, three, four, and a half. You can also make your own paper body ruler. Just lie down and have your friends trace your body on paper. Then an adult can cut out the shape and you're ready to measure the classroom. Just like before, make sure you don't leave any spaces. Okay, that's one paper body ruler, two paper body rulers, three paper body rulers, four paper body rulers, and there's room for one more half a paper body ruler. In your journals, draw some pictures of the types of rulers we use today. Do you remember how many bodies it took to measure the room? Sid, can we take a look at your journal? Oh, sure. Um, here's Gerald on the floor, and this shows you how he got up and then laid down a bunch of times. And it turns out our classroom is 14 Gerald's long. Oh, that's great, Sid. Now we know how long our classroom is in Gerald's. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriella, how about your journal? Oh, okay. Uh, so I was thinking uh, if we could measure the classroom in Gerald's, we could also measure our rug in Gerald's. Hmm. Oh, oh, I'll go see. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Go, Gerald, go. Okay. Measure yeah. away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, the rug is three Gerald's long. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, this uh, bookcase is also one Gerald long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo! I am the greatest non standard measurement ruler in the world. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Scientists are amazing. 
And now I think it's time for all my measuring experts to go and play with your new ideas. All right. Yay! Yay! Have fun. Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> And how and want to know everything now. Oh, yeah. How does this thing work? Why does that stuff change?